what's up everybody we are back here with another absolutely insane build that we figured out it's a really cool combination of a bunch of different items we won't go into it too much so just make sure you stay tuned watch the video see how we get here and then you yourself can do this build also because it's freaking awesome hello hello everybody welcome on in i'm orion we are back with more yet another zombie survivor. If you watch the medic solo run, we kind of recently discovered with this new update, movement speed is back in the game. They now allow team level ups to where you can get extra movement speed. And now that makes movement speed builds super viable. And so we're gonna, we're gonna run a build with that. And I'm actually gonna kind of combine it with the magnet build we did the other day which kind of failed, it did fail. The magnet build, build did not work out very well. So I'm hoping that now that they have added eight items, you can now carry eight items instead of six. We should be able to expand on that a little bit, but we're gonna try to run kind of five or six very specific items. We're gonna run the compass. Every five movement speed over 100 adds one ability damage area and duration. And then we're gonna run the hit tracks where reduce movement impairing effects from enemy attacks, environmental hazards by half. And then we get additional movement speed. And then we're gonna kind of go back to the magnet stuff where we're gonna get magnets are gonna spawn twice as fast. Magnet power-ups are also gonna collect uh, military training points, health packs and white, uh, white power-ups. And that's gonna give us pickup range. The pickup range is important. Uh, this is gonna give us collecting a magnet Power up grants 45 second bonus of ability cut can, co ability cooldown reduction and more pickup range. And then this is why we're gonna take all those because ability area increases by 5% for every 10% pickup range over 100. So that, and we're gonna get an additional 10% uh, ability area. And then this one will also run it with it too. So we'll, we'll try to do any sort of combination of these four, uh, these five items and then six and seven. So that's gonna leave, give us some leeway here, but we can have eight items now. So that means we can stack a lot of cool things here and try sort of these combo builds. So those are gonna be the items we're gonna run with. We're gonna start, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run the engineer, tank, and huntress. We're gonna do this because I wanna do bombing strike. The engineer has energy shield and electric turret, and then she has arrow reins. Some other characters sort of have attack ability size but i think these are the best ones uh we're gonna start off with the tank and we're gonna actually try to run a harder level here we're gonna run a uh, vile wasteland endless and we're gonna do this on difficulty two this time so we're really gonna up the difficulty for this run because i hope that we're there we're gonna be running the speed badge where we get extra attack speed and movement speed. Um, we're gonna run the weapon cooldown reduction and ability cooldown reduction. We're gonna run the health points and armor and then we're just gonna run straight up damage. I wanna, I wanted to run some of the tags, but I figured just running a straight up damage would be better because I didn't wanna focus on just one character. I kinda want this to be every character is going to feel strong and I didn't wanna put three different tags on there for these characters. So that's what we're gonna do. I also want to run this map too because this map does have some uh, slowdowns where like the spiders and stuff, the spider webs can slow you down. So I figure at least those weapons will help out or not the weapons, the items will help out a little bit. The ones that reduce the, the movement and parrying effects. So it should be cool to try that out. We're not gonna do the shotgun build. We're gonna run a minigun build. And if we can, maybe we'll get the solar panel, depending on what items we get, which will also reduce the cooldown of abilities uh, for crits. See, so this right here, see how this slows me down? Uh, if we get one of those items, it's gonna eliminate that. Let's do the saw blades to start off with. Let's do shotgun. You could run this with the medic too as your third character because she she's obviously just a super 
she's probably the best third character you could take in this game. Um, I think it's really beneficial to take two DPS characters and then the medic for almost every single time. But I wanted to do, I wanted to try to do just more characters that are going to have ability area just so we could try to see how crazy this can get. I, I don't know how much faith I have in it because um, I know the movement speed stuff is going to be great because it was great on our medic. We did a medic run and the extra movement speed is just crazy good. But I really want to see what kind of area of effect stuff we're going to be able to get here with these abilities and how much damage we're going to be able to do with them. Okay, we're not going to take the frost fire. We're going to do the cog wheels. There's a lot of items. I love that there's eight items now. That opens up so much room for variety here. You can sort of combine a couple things like what we're going to do. Like we're going to combine movement speed and uh, pickup range to hopefully just create these insane area of effect spells. Okay, let's do fury. But the medic, as I was talking about the medic, the medic also gets stim pack, which will increase your movement speed. So I assume that'll give you a temporary buff on those. Okay, we're actually going to reroll these. Um, plus three to every tag type. That one could be. Well, we're going to get electric. We're not going to get. Frost. We're not going to get fire. This one kind of feels like a wasted spot, though, but I'm just trying to think out loud because if I pair it with the gym, let's banish. Actually, I don't think I want to banish any of these, to be honest. <laughs> um, let's reroll these. OK, there's the pickup pick. Here's damage for kinetic slashing and explosive. We'll do a lot of kinetic damage with this build. Um, but the pickup pick is one of the ones we want, so I'm just going to take that. Okay, and I'll take any character that shows up, so we'll take the Huntress. Okay, we'll do suit bow. Oh wow, huge weapon cooldown reduction. Um, I think we put that on the Huntress because with the tank, the tank we're gonna run, um, oh yeah, I forgot they get 50% of it now too. Yes, that's so good. Okay, let's put it on the Huntress. Okay, let's do the pump action. to bow. I'm not going to do the arrow rain and stuff until we start getting a little bit more of what we need in terms of items. Because otherwise, I think we're better off just building for our DPS quicker, especially our weapons. Definitely not the rocket launcher. Let's do... gun right now let's 
So yeah, if I can run solar panel two with this, I think we'll do that. I don't know if we'll pick up any of the other crit items though, because that might take up too much, too much space for our items. But I think we'll get plenty of crits with just the minigun. Solar panel is going to reduce the ability cooldowns per crit. Okay, we'll do multi-shot. And since we, I think we need seven items. I don't necessarily need seven, but there are seven items we could pick from. Okay, uh, there's the metal. Uh, magnets spawn twice as fast. This one's pretty good too. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna take the heavy metal. So does this one have, this one doesn't have anything to do with magnets yet. So, yeah, the magnet's not going to, this isn't going to do anything for us yet, but again, we're building towards the end game here with these. Let's do arrow penetration. The last time I did this magnet build, I didn't even get the magnet item, so <laughs> at least we got it this time. All right, let's do the so I could do pickup range here. Let's do pickup range. It's going to be weird. This is going to be weird. This is going to be weird, guys. OK, out of these, we could do bombing strike. The arrow penetration. Hopefully, though, once we start getting these ability area items, it's going to pay off. shot again we're gonna take explosive arrows Then for our last character, the Engineer, I'll take two whenever he shows up. We're not going to waste any rerolls, though. No wasted rerolls here. We only get so many. I need to... I need to make sure we use them to the best benefit for the items. Multi-shot again. Alright, this is a Liberate... Let's do arrow penetration. All right, our next item, none of these. Let's banish the canister. Because we're not going to do any bleeding, right? I'm pretty sure we do no bleeding. This is a decent one. Um, but we lose out on the electric. Let's reroll. Okay, so here's the compass. Every five movement speed adds over, over 100. Adds one ability damage area and duration. So let's see what this is doing at the moment. So right now it's giving us, wow. Right off the get, we're getting 24 ability damage, 24% ability area, 
in 24% duration. And that's because we start off with, <laughs> I get the, I get the, um, we get the 50 movement speed from this, from the character. So that should increase our ability stuff pretty good right off the gate. And then once we start getting the pickup area, the pickup area bonuses, it's going to get even better. Okay, we'll do arrow penetration explosive. I forget what the other one does. I'm going to wait and see what the other one does real quick. I, I kind of forgot what the other one does for arrow penetration. strike okay let's do i probably should do some health regeneration here i think ability crit chance is really good though too but i'm gonna take a little bit of health regen i'm gonna kind of take that when it shows up because there's no other way there's not gonna be any other way for me to heal in this game the magnets will be nice though because they'll be able to pick up everything assuming i get all the items i need And then for arrow rain, we're gonna, man, there's gonna be so many combos here. For arrow rain, we're gonna take the one that we drop extra arrows. Uh, let's do, I'm definitely not taking bio strike here. Bio or bio weapon does not feel good at all. Um, I ran it last time and it did hardly anything. Uh, let's do explosive arrows. Plus, it makes more sense to run the electric one since we're going to pick up the engineer anyways. But as I was saying, for the combo, so there's going to be a nice combo here too because for arrow rain, we're going to run the one that gives you extra arrow rains per ability duration. And this is giving us 40, well, 40, I think, cause yeah, because we have our movement speed buff. But it's going to give us extra, should give us extra arrow range, too. So we're going to do the supercharge. Uh, drops EMP bombs instead. Uh, what are you doing, mouse? Uh, drops EMP bombs instead, dealing electric damage. So that's definitely going to be the way to go here. Uh, more bombs, more explosion radius. So I'll take it. Okay. Um, let's do... This one's really good, too. This one gives us a lot of damage and ability damage. I might actually just take this one for right now because it they did fix it it is fixed now okay let's do ability damage and let's do that on the tank so SOS did get fixed before it was broken it would stop at basically if you weren't picking up if you weren't picking up a hero, if you already had your team full, it wasn't counting it. Okay, so, oh, barbed. Uh, now guaranteed injured status. Oh, that one could be good, too. Or we could go with explosion. Injured status could be good, and then we could, if we needed to for extra DPS, we could take the one that does extra damage to injured. Create small explosions. Hmm. I 
I, I don't really know if we need this. I just kind of feel like between all the weapons, we're going to be putting injured status on them. What's our percentage for it? 34%? Because this guy, the tank has his minigun, so he should be applying it a lot. And then with all our other ones, let's go with the explosives. We'll just... Look at that. <laughs> that radius is huge. Okay, so none of the characters we want here. Well, not just the engineer, so we'll liberate, which is fine. We'll do... Okay, so now Arrow Rain. Uh, arrow Rain now occur multiple times, plus one for every 10% ability duration stat. So, let's... Wow. Looks like we're doing four. I'm not sure if that was working before because it seemed to kind of cap it two or three. This is so good. Okay, let's do explosive arrows. So this is pairing with this because this is giving us 24 ability duration. And I think now that I'm thinking of it too, I think our badge, no, that's cooldown reduction. Our badge just gives us cooldown reduction, not duration. We got to get this engineer now. <laughs> the engineer is going to have some of the best ability. The best ability stuff for us. The energy shield. The turrets. Oh, okay. Here's the solar panel. Uh, weapon critical hits have a 50% chance to reduce current cooldowns. Of every ability, I'm definitely going to take that for now. Okay, let's do health regeneration again. So I don't think I'll take any of the other items that pair well with solar panel because there is one that will um, there's one that'll give you extra uh, damage or extra crit chance on full health enemies. I don't think we're going to take those. We'll see what other gets. I mean, I guess it all depends. It all depends what shows up. And this is why I'm going to need a little bit of health regen too. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of take a lot of that too when we play. Cuz what is we are at 11 set 11 per second. Let's do minefield again. I 
And usually for minefield, I usually do the shrapnel, but I think today we're going to take the taunt. Because we're going to have a lot of taunts here, and it's going to be pretty good. Our turrets are going to taunt. We're going to have the monkey taunt. And then we'll have our mines do taunting also. So yeah, mines now beep on trigger, taunting enemies before exploding. So let's do that. The shrapnel is really good though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> shrapnel is probably the better pick. Okay, let's do engineer. But I like the idea of getting a bunch of taunts here. Kind of hold, yeah. See, like hold enemies in one place. And then maybe our stat or area of effect or our yeah our big area of effect spells and sort of just hit them and blow them all up. Okay. Oh, here's another good one, the sapphire gem. So right now we only have one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, but we will get four soon. So let's take that one. Let's do it so let's see what this gives us this is going to give us ability dance so like we're getting more ability area more ability duration and then more ability damage from this item okay i'm gonna lock down the movement speed and then i'm gonna do ability critical damage on the tank no yeah, let's do the tank. I'm really, I'm really, really happy that they expanded the item pool to eight items now because it really does make builds like this way more viable versus gimping yourself with five items that don't do any damage. Now I can, now I can pick up items that are going to pair well and do extra damage. <laughs> it's so much better. Okay, let's do energy shield again. And this is our hardest run ever in this game, too, with the new update. The second map, difficulty two. So we're definitely ramping up the difficulty as we kind of move through this game. Okay, let's do the turret again. Okay, let's banish Jewel. Let's re-roll these. Okay, so there's the wrench, another item we want. Ability area increases for every pickup range. And then do we have, yeah, this gives us pickup range. <laughs> so that's gonna give us more ability area. Um, let's see. That's the only thing that gives us pickup range at the moment. So let's take the wrench. And then let's see how much this is doing. So this is giving us an extra 25% ability area. Uh, 
Okay, let's, um, oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep movement speed locked down because if you, if, if I were to lock down this, this is something they need to fix too at some point. If I lock down stopping power right here, um, it loses its rarity. So if you lock it down at rare, it doesn't stay at rare. I'm gonna put that on the tank. Let's do the traps again. See, we're just gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of taunts here and it should be really good for all our, all our big area abilities. Yeah, we'll have a lot of CC here on this run. And then when we get this uh, energy shield, we'll do the frozen. Let's do so again. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the rarity here I'm actually gonna s No, yeah, I'm gonna switch my lockdown though to the health regen And I'll take the weapon attack speed the tank Okay, and then our next item here nothing we want Let's banish Toxify Reroll these. Okay, nothing we want here. So let's see. I think we just reroll this again. Okay, so unfortunately nothing here. And these ones all kind of stink. Um, fire ice electrics, a no, because I don't want to lose the kinetic damage or explosive. Uh, all healing effects, definitely not. Electrified, uh, maybe. Injured status. These are these are kind of where we're at right here. I guess we do the injured last twice as long. Okay, so now we're at the point to where we're gonna need some RNG to get what we want. Okay, so let's do decoy. Yeah, now, now we're at the mercy of RNG. We still have a few banishes left, though. 
and we have the majority of the items. I think we have a good amount of the area size ones, but I want to get more of the movement ones. There's still that other movement item I want to get. Because we only have the compass right now. Um, I want to get the one that it, that gives us the extra movement speed and um, the less impairment on these, these spider webs and stuff. But I guess the compass is the main one. The compass is the main one I want, so... Okay, so enemies entering the dome are inflicted with frozen status, so we're going to do that. Let's do decoys. So like I said, a lot of CC. We're going to have a lot of CC here with this build. Bear traps, a bunch of, bunch of taunts and decoys, and then a frozen energy shield. Our biggest weakness is healing though, which I'm trying to mitigate through picking up all that extra health regen on the level ups. Okay, here we are. The mercy of RNG. What are we gonna get? Um, okay. Oh, this one, yep. Um, Magnus now also pick up military training points, health packs, and white power-ups. It increases our pickup radius. So, <laughs> okay. So there's a lot going on here. Um, what do we, re oh, I'm gonna replace this one for sure. So let's see, picking up, so this gives us pickup radius, this gives us pickup radius. We don't have the item though that helps with the pickup radius. Oh yeah, we do, the wrench. Jeez, okay, we're looking pretty good then. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna replace the nine inch nails. And now let's see what this gives us. So now this gives us 40% ability area. Okay, let's do the turret. Okay, I'm gonna take... Let's lock down the ability damage and let's take the health regen. So now these magnets are going to pick up everything. And we have the item to spawn twice as many magnets. So let's do taser. We're not going to do cooling. Let's do bear trap. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is so chaotic. I I can't see half of what I'm running into. I love it. I don't know if I... I can't see half the red markers on the screen. Okay. 
traps create a fire that lasts for a while or traps additionally fires a few frozen arrows. Let's do the frozen arrows, I guess. Man, if only we could get one more frost tag here. This is okay. We have to let's see. Is there anything here worth replacing? This is a huge no, huge no, huge no. This is probably a huge no too at this point because that's a lot of weapon damage. Um, this is a maybe, but probably no. This is probably a no, huge no, huge no. So I'm definitely not going to replace it with any of these. The only thing I think we really need is that other movement speed item. Because we have the good pickup ones. We have the good pickup range ones to pair with the wrench. This also gives us a lot of ability. This one could be replaced maybe because that's not insane amounts. But we'll see. But... Definitely not going to replace it with any of those, at least not for this type of build we're doing. Okay, we'll do the flycatcher. So turrets, electric turrets will now taunt nearby enemies. So again, another taunt here. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't see shit. I have no idea what I'm running into. Okay, I'm definitely going to take this movement speed. Let's do Tesla. So what is the movement speed giving us? Movement speed is giving us more damage, ability, area, and duration. This item is just way better than this one, huh? Because these are basically doing the exact same thing. This one's just doing it way better. Right? Way better. Ability, damage, area, duration. Damage, area, duration. But this one does it evenly across all fields. Damage, like it's an even amount. Whereas this one, you barely get any damage. Huh. They might need to relook at that item then. Because I don't even really have a lot of movement speed. I only picked up that one item and then maybe one. Of oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. We do have the movement speed from the compass. Or not the compass, the, the badge. Okay, let's get the decoy. This is supposed to be a slightly more movement speed build. I was hoping to get a little bit more movement speed going for us, but I guess we're kind of slowly working on it. <laughs> Although, I, we have the badge. I keep forgetting we have that badge, too. The badge gives us a big boost in movement speed. Okay, toxic. Decoys now move away from the survivors before exploding. Sure. Or, to no, let's do toxic. Uh, who cares?
Let's just make the game look even more... Just make it even more impossible to see what's happening. Okay, these are a big no. Let's banish the burger. We'll skip these. Ooh, ability crit chance, 25%. Who should that go on? Probably the engineer. That's yeah, that's going to go on the engineer because I still need to get I still need to get EMP grenade and <laughs> electrocute. <laughs> I haven't even gotten those yet. That's going to make me push that a little bit more, though. So let's go with electrocution now. Let's go electrocution. What's up, everybody? We are back here with another absolutely insane build that we figured out. It's a really cool combination of a bunch of different items. We won't go into it too much, so just make sure you stay tuned, watch the video, see how we get here, and then you yourself can do this build also because it's freaking awesome. All right, there we go. We cut another promo mid-video. Okay. These are a no also. Let's banish bleeding. No, let's banish the med kit. Yeah, let's just banish the med kit. Okay, let's do electrocution. Okay, weapon attack speed. Pickup range. Okay, we're gonna do Venomous here. Oh man, we're so close. <laughs> we're gonna be like one tag off Chemical and Frozen. I wonder what the EMP grenade does. The EMP grenade might surprise me because I'm kind of low-key thinking it does do extra explosions. Because what I'm thinking is the extra tags, you know, this one, we get a bonus if we hit three tags. So we're one short of chemical and we're one short of frozen from getting those extra bonuses.
Okay, let's do the EMP grenade here. No. No, let's do the weapon. I I gotta get this I gotta get this weapon upgraded too. We'll worry about getting the extra tags later. Another magnet down here. I, I'm really liking this double magnet spawn. Magnets are relatively rare in this game. Okay, we'll do Tesla. Tesla again. Okay, this is a banish. I guess it doesn't matter what I banish because I'm not going to take any of these. Uh, let's banish the bleeding though. Now we'll do, okay, I'm gonna lock down the movement speed. I'm gonna take this pickup range. This arrow rain is so cool right now. Just, I don't know how many we're doing. Five, maybe? That was right on my chest. Uh, oh, here it is. Reduce this movement impairing effects. <laughs> uh, let's take it. But what am I going to replace? Do I just replace this one? Because I do like this one. Um, <laughs> I do like this one giving me the extra ability, damage, area, and duration, even if it's not a lot. This one's got to be reducing the cooldown a ton, though. Man, I'm not going to replace this one. This one's too much damage. This one's really cool, though. Um, I think I'll just replace this. I think this one's too good. Weapon critical hits have a 50% chance to reduce current cooldown of every ability. I think that one's too good right now. So basically, this gives us a perfect build here. I think this gives us everything we want it. So with this one, we're going to get, yeah, with this one, we're going to get the extra ability damage area and duration anyways. So on top of the extra movement speed. 
So now what is this giving us here? 30, 30, and 30. This is starting to get really hard. Okay, let's take... I'm gonna lock down the... Actually, the pickup range is probably... No, let's lock down the pickup range. I'll just take the movement speed. The movement speed... I think the pickup range is more beneficial for... For my abilities, but in terms of survivability, I think... I think movement speed is just the better pickup because I could use movement speed a lot more than I could use pickup range. I'm trying to beeline it towards this magnet. Hmm, I don't know if that's really working. Is this one even working? What did we just pick up? This guy reduces movement impairing effects from enemy attacks and environmental hazards by half. It doesn't really seem like it's reducing my movement too much on these spider webs, right? Okay, so for Fury Unleashed, we'll take the cooperation. We'll split it up amongst the whole party. I don't think I need these items anymore. So I'm not necessarily going to go out of my way to take these. Okay, definitely take cooperation. It's now split between all survivors, attack speed, cooldown reduction, and damage for everybody. Okay, I'm gonna... Dang, I hate it when it's like this. I hate that I can't lock down the rare item. I'm just gonna take up the pickup. Okay, let's do EMP grenade now.
I don't even know what's doing good in this <laughs> what's doing good in this run and what's not damage wise. It's it's impossible to tell anything in this run. Okay, let's do I'm gonna take that health read no, we'll just take the MP grenade. One health regen's not a lot. I'm not gonna go for that item crate either. Yeah, but no, no health regen is rough. I need to get, I need to get a magnet. Magnets pick up every, oh yeah, my gosh. That was so helpful. I was gonna say, because magnets will pick up everything because of this thing right here. Um, this is now picking up all health packs too on the map. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> this is it. No, no, get out, get out, get out. Oh, keep going. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought that I thought I died right there. <laughs> I thought that was me dying. Oh my gosh, there it is. Dang, 37 minutes. That was so good. That was such a fun run. <laughs> that was such a fun run. Bombing strike, you only... No way. That can't be right. Did bombing strike only, really only do 395 damage? What? There's no way. Minigun with it. <laughs> I mean, was it just not hitting anything? Minigun. Bombing strike 395. There's no way. Minefield 2000. Minigun 8000. Pump action. Saw blades did a lot. Arrow rain. Yep, that was pretty good. 6500 for arrow rain. Uh, 4700 explosive arrows. Bear traps did a lot. Multi shot. Uh, zombie decoy doesn't really do much. And then here we have energy shield. Yeah, electrocution is... I should have got electrocution a little earlier, but that's a really good DPS item. But that was pretty good. That was cool. Everything did pretty well. The only thing that really surprises me is this bombing strike. But for the most part, everything was pretty even, you know? I think that's what I like about this build. Everything was pretty even. Nothing took over the run and just dominated. Everything did good damage, what they were supposed to do. Except again, bombing strike. We got all the items I wanted to get. I think these were the seven items. I think these, no, we're missing one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing one item. Can't remember what it was. Um, it had to have been one of the magnet ones, though. I can't, I'll have to look to see which one it was, though. But yeah, we're missing one because I had room for one spot and I have these two items. So I can't quite remember which one it was, but we got the main ones we wanted to get. We got all the extra ability area, the area of damage, area and duration, and then 50% damage, ability damage. Super good. That was really cool. That was a really fun run. That was pretty strong, too. Uh, that was the hardest difficulty we ran. Difficulty 2 on the harder map. This probably would have lasted a lot longer on the first map for sure. But yeah, that really cool build. I, I'm really impressed. I, I love this new A item thing. It really changes things. It really changes things. It makes this pickup build, this magnet build, a lot more viable. So there we go. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.